For a long time, finding a good domain has been a major stumbling block for many people. It often seems like all the good domains are taken, and you can spend hours or even days searching for the right domain. But not anymore. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use Domain Samurai to find high quality domains quickly and easily. I'll also show you how to create presets within Domain Samurai and how to snap up the best domains before your competition finds them. To begin, I'm going to click the New Project button. In the Project Settings window, I can enter a seed keyword. For this example, I'm going to use the keyword photography. Once I've created my project, I have the option to either do some keyword research or go directly to the domains module. This keyword research module is the same as that used in Market Samurai. If you're not familiar with this module, please visit the Noble Samurai Dojo where you'll find several step-by-step -step videos on keyword research. In this video, however, we're going to focus on finding domains. So I'm going to click this button to go directly to the domains module. At the top of the screen, I can enter my seed keywords for my domain search. For this example, I'm going to use the seed keywords photography, digital photography, and digital photography tutorials. Once I've entered my seed keywords, I can come over here and select an option from the Domain Variations drop-down box. The default options are Blog Site, Shop Site, Review Site, and Social Site. Each of these presets is a collection of prefixes and suffixes that are relevant to a particular type of website. For example, let's take a look at the blog site preset. When I click the edit button, you can see that the blog site preset includes the prefixes my, the, and e, and the suffixes blog, spot, site, info, news, and tips. You can also create your own presets. Let's say, for example, that I didn't want to include the prefix e, and I wanted to add the suffix hub. After making my changes, I can click the Save as New Preset button. I can then type a name for my new preset. For example, I'll call this preset My Favourites and then click the OK button. Now just to recap, what this means is that when I click the Find Domains button, Domain Samurai will search for domains that include my seed keywords and the prefixes and suffixes associated with the My Favourites preset. Don't worry if that sounds a little confusing, you'll see exactly what I mean in just a moment. The next drop-down box allows me to select the domains that I'm interested in. The default presets are .com and .com.net.org. Once again, you can create your own presets to focus in on the domains that interest you. For this example, I'm only interested in .com domains, so I'll select the .com preset. So now I've specified that I'm interested in finding domains that are based on my seed keywords. I want to include the prefixes and suffixes associated with the My Favourites preset. And I've selected a domain preset that only includes .com domains. I can now check this checkbox if I want to include results with hyphens, which I do. And now I can click the Find Domains button. Domain Samurai now goes out and in just a few seconds it conducts the domain research that would usually take you hours or even days. And here are my results. Now as I scan down this list, 
I can already see a few domains that would be worth investigating. For example, I'm a little surprised that photography-hub.com and photography-spot.com are actually available. When you see a domain you're interested in, the first thing to do is to come across and click on the check link. Domain Samurai will then do a detailed check to confirm the availability of that domain. If the entry turns green like this one, it means the domain is available. Occasionally, the detailed check will reveal that the domain is not actually available and the entry will turn red. For example, let's take a look at thephotographyblog.com. In this example, the domain isn't available. So let's just check one more and check thephotographyspot.com and this domain is available. Now you'll notice that all of these domains relate to my first seed keyword, photography. As I scroll down through my results, I'll find domains that relate to my second seed keyword, digital photography. For example, the digitalphotographyhub.com and mydigitalphotographysite.com are both available. As I scroll down further, I'll find domains that are relevant to my third keyword, Digital Photography Tutorials. For example, mydigitalphotographytutorials.com is available. I can also sort my results by keyword density by coming up here and clicking on this column heading. And here I can see that the mydigitalphotographytutorials.com domain has the highest keyword density. So as you can see, in just a couple of minutes, I've identified some fantastic potential domains that are available right now. The actual domain you'll choose will depend on a number of factors, including the branding potential, the search engine optimization potential, and the strength of competition in the marketplace. Once you've made your decision, all you have to do to secure your domain is come over here and click the Buy link. Domain Samurai then opens a new window containing the Buy Domain screen. It's important to note that at Noble Samurai we don't actually sell domains. So on this screen you can select which registrar you'd like to use to purchase your domains. The default here is Namecheap.com because they provide both bulk registration and the highest level of automation with Domain Samurai. So for this example, I'll accept this default and then come down and click the Next button. Here, I can confirm the list of domains that I'm interested in and then click the Proceed button. And then I'm redirected to Namecheap.com. From here, I can select my domains and add it to my shopping cart. I can then follow the standard checkout process to purchase the domains I'm interested in. So let's just recap. In this video we've seen just how easy it is to find high quality domain names based on specific keyword phrases using Domain Samurai. We also saw how to set up presets for domain variations and domains in order to save time and effort. And finally, we saw how to secure your domain with just a few clicks of your mouse.